Hey guys, it's your girl Shella. I'm done with my morning routine. And I want to show y'all just uh, just focusing on the back perimeter. I don't know if y'all were able to actually see what I was trying to say when I say about the, the hair loss or the locks that came out. Uh, and every time they get reinstalled, they still unravel and come loose to the point where they just break off. It is what it is. So that's the hair loss that I get, but it's just the back perimeter. And then I did have a couple of ones that came out in the front. And it, I'm gonna show y'all a slide um, of, so you'll be looking for that, of the progression from when my loss got installed. Because actually, if you guys were follow me, follow and follow my journey, shrinkage is real, y'all. Because you know I've been natural. I've been natural since my kids have been like in middle school. And that was a long time ago. Because right now they're both 30 years old. So um, to, I say that to say this. Is that when you saw my hair in its natural form. It was like this long. Okay. Pretty much maybe three, four inches. Three or four inches unstretched. Unstretched. And when the day, and that's what it was the day I got my locks installed, unstretched, natural curly, uh, with a water or whatever, but shrinkage is real. And y'all, uh, that that's like this, that's like me, y'all know shrinkage is real. So um, when I got my locks installed, um, by them um, doing my locks, it actually stretched my hair. So my hair stretched, and it, and you'll see, I mean, it was like this long. I mean, I probably had like between nine to maybe 12 inches of hair uh, on my hair, on my head as after it was done, after the stretch. So you're like, wow, your hair is long, but shrinkage is real. So I try to explain to people, everybody's lock journey is different. With me, um, like I said, shrinkage is real. So as my hair started getting older and started getting um, um, compromise as far as you know you wetting it and then you taking it you washing it your hair is going to shrink but now with it not being in separate strands when it shrinks you got strands that's in a lock that's all these different strands are trying to do their own little separate things so my hair went from like this long to like this long and then when it got dried out, you know, dry and maybe went a little longer again. So shrinkage is real. Don't compare your journey to anybody else's journey. Everybody's journey is different. Your hair is not used to being, I say, trapped, pretty much. Your when you're not loose natural, your hair is used to doing what it what it does. So with my lock journey, um, as y'all can see, and and I showed you guys this part. Here I'm gonna take this little clamp right here and just I got my clamp this time so I can show you guys a better, better view. Now, if you'll notice, I have clips um, that has um, how when they started my locks, they started them, they took me, they started my locks with my edges, pretty much. And like this right here was an edge. And this is the edge that eventually it stayed, y'all. And then this one right here was an edge that stayed. So these two right here started from nothing and look how long they are now. So these are the two edges that actually stayed. The rest of them, you know, they didn't stay, which I don't think edges should be snatched anyway. So, but the fact that these two stayed meant that, okay, um, it was meant to be there. Okay, so we've addressed that. Now we're gonna go to my other side over here. And I'm just gonna pull this up to my other clamp because I really want y'all to see what I'm talking about. This is my first time ever having locks, so you know, hey, I'm I'm j I just you know, I just been figuring it out. And this right now, this right here is my right side. This is my left side. And when you take a look at my right side over here, from you guys, when you see the screens that I'm gonna show you guys, um, this. Right here is are my edges. And like I say, I don't think edges need to be snatched up, but these are my edges. You can lay them. Some people lay their edges down with state gel. Uh, I, I I was doing that at the beginning, you know, with, with a colored gel. And y'all follow me on my journey. Y'all know, you can go to my playlist and check it out. 
But then I decided, you know what? I told my lactation, don't don't even worry about it. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Cause she could have actually added these in with my next row of locks. And but it's like, no, just 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 leave them as is. And so that's why you see this right here here. But this one right here, they kept. So these stayed in. And these right here just kept slipping. But she actually has enough here that if she wanted to, she can try and start them again. I mean, if, if you look, you know, you got this here and you got this. You got this here, right here, and you got this. So technically she can, and maybe, who knows, down the line, depending on how long these edges grow. But for right now, we're going to leave them alone because we satisfied, okay? Now, I'm going to show you the back part of my hair. That has been the problem part of my hair since my entire journey, okay? I didn't care too much about the edges because um, it'll do what it do. But the back part, yeah, let's show y'all the back part. So I'm going to take these off right here because I'm going to use these to clamp up. I always have you something to pull your hair up. So we're going to take this right here for now. For now, I say, because I want y'all to see my back part. And, um, all right. All right, like that. And as you see, like I say, I just got done with my routine. Now you see my hair, it doesn't look wet and it's not wet. This is just the moisture stuff that I put in my hair to keep my locks, so the sun don't dry my locks out, keep my locks, and it's non-greasy. And it's, this is the stuff that you can actually, I told y'all before, you can put it on your skin because that's what it's for, for your skin, your scalp, your skin, your hair. So let's get to the back. And I wanna make sure y'all see me. So let me pull this chair around right here so I can sit in it. And let me make sure y'all gonna be able to see me. Yeah, y'all should be able to see me good. Let me straddle this chair, y'all. Uh, I hope y'all see me because I wanna record this for no reason. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys my back. Y'all see everything. All right, that's my back right here. And then there's going to be a clip showing you these right here. This right here was a ball. I mean, it had all my locks here had actually um, came out because the locks just went home. It just kept unraveling to the point where my hair had broke off because it just went hold up in the locks. And as y'all can see, it's growing in that spot. The locks actually have taken. Once the locks take, they will grow, but it's a process. Some people have been locked for years and it just has not grown there. But my hair is very soft in the back. So then I'll pull this out right here.
hope y'all was able to see everything that I was trying to show y'all. Um, and with that all being said, I would not give this lock journey up ever as long as I have someone there to do my retightenings. So, and that's it, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed, and I hope this video was able to enlighten you and show you the progress of my hair. And as I said, your locks, once they take around your perimeter areas, they will grow and thrive. So it's just, it's a process. And for some, it's a long process. It all depends on the texture of your hair. My hair is very soft. I mean, it is so soft, y'all. And it's very fine now that I've gotten older. When I was younger, I had thicker hair. And now my hair is thinned out. Um, I used to have hair like my daddy. Now I got hair like my mama. It is what it is, y'all. My mom had a fine grade of hair. My dad had a thick grade of hair. But now that, as you see, my journey was started out. Um, uh, my loctician said it was sister locks. But as it doesn't matter. Sister locks. Well, it's locks. So, but um, it started out in a braid. It had the sister lock pattern, but the braid lock, they braided them. And people say, oh, the braids, are, the braid pattern will never go away. Listen, I am totally fully locked, and you would not see braid patterns in my hair. You would not know that I started these out in, with braids because there is no braid patterns in my hair. I mean, I literally cannot see any braid patterns in my hair. So, yeah, it doesn't matter what, how you start your, your hair out. Locks is locks. Locks is locks. No matter if it's sister locks, braid locks, tiny locks, micro locks, um, locks are locks. Just embrace your journey. Enjoy your journey. And don't let anyone tell you anything about your lock journey and your hair hope to see you guys soon go check out my playlist because it's got everything from start to finish on the timelines as well bye
y'all subscribe to my channel. Go ahead, subscribe. It's free. We want you in our comment sections. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Yes, share, but only if you care. Check out our videos.